Good day, everyone. How are you? Kumusta? Anyways, this is Teacher Jafet, and I'm back again. And for this morning, I will share to you all about changes. <laughs> Any changes? Well, anyways, let's talk about two changes in matter. What are those changes? So, I know that you already know. It's about physical change and chemical change. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Are you ready? Okay, so let's go. So let's talk about physical change. What do you think is physical change? Aha! Okay, so physical change is a change in the form or appearance of a material, but its composition remains the same. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> example? Okay, so example of physical change. Let me give this to you. Tong, tororong, what is this? A paper or um, bond paper. Now, let's have the physical change. Ding! I will change this to this form. Ha! I will change this to this form. Change it again. <laughs> change, change, change. What happened? Oh, uh, it is now smaller. But is does it become a um a ball pen? Nahimo ba siyang ball pen? Of course, it's still a bit paper. Even if I fold it many times, but it's still a bit paper. Now, again. What do I have? I have a bun paper. <gasps> oh, poor little bun paper. But let me ask you, is this still a bun paper? Of course, this is still a bun paper. Yeah. A while ago, this was very, very, a very nice bun paper, no? But I crumpled it. So, it changed. It changed in its um, form or appearance. Nibati na siya, di ba? But still, it's a band paper. Now, another. Yeah. Mm. <gasps> no way! Mm. 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 Oh. It changed a lot. <laughs> but let me ask you Is this still open paper? You're right! That is what we call physical change. Okay? When I crumpled, when I tear the open paper, wala siya nahimung balas or bato. But, open paper again happened. Physical change. Now let's have the chemical change. So, in chemical change, the appearance or the form of the of the material has changed, okay? The composition, the appearance, and the form, everything has changed. And a new product is formed when chemical change occurs. That is why the, ori the original material cannot be identified anymore. Like that example, I burned the paper. So, after burning this little paper, uh, can you see or can you still see the original form? The white paper or the white bond paper? Of course, you cannot see because the chemical change occurred. Okay? So, from bun paper, it turned to ash or abu. Inakakita o papil. You can uh, you can no longer write on it. Okay, yes. It turned to ash. 
amo. So that is chemical change. So can you give me an example of chemical change? And physical change. Let's try. Number one. Uh, <laughs> sliced apple. Chemical change or physical change? Ting 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 ting. ting. You're right. It's physical change. How about to let me think? I break the glass. Oh, what about that? Physical change or chemical change? Ding 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 ding. You're right. Physical change. <laughs> How about digested food? Hmm, digested food. Oh, 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 physical change or chemical change? You're right, it's chemical change because no, if you're eating banana, I'm like you cannot anymore. Oh, that's banana. Yes. Last one. Let's have um roasted name or gitaya ngalansang. Is that chemical change or physical change? Ting 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 ting. <laughs> You're right. It's chemical change. Why? Nga, why? Why is it chemical change? It's still a nail. Well, so diba I said chemical change forms a new product. So the taya or the rust itself is the new product. And that is why rusted nail has the chemical change so these are the evidences of chemical change formation of new product formation of gas release or absorption of heat and formation of precipitate as like that of the milk when it is boiled so this time i'd like to share to you about change well there are many things in my mind about change but two points i would like to share to you you know sometimes challenges would try to put us down, uh, would let us discourage or feel like we are hopeless. But one thing that would never change, it's your value. Say for example, I have a 10 peso coin. Even if I step down on it or throw it away, it's still 10 peso coin. Its value is sti still 10 pesos, okay? Jis pesos are punya value. That's the same with you. Even if these challenges would discourage you, would try to put you down, you still have your value. Remember that. And second point, one thing that would never change, bisag nag change na mo o unsa career. If you have changed already your career, or you have a change in in your place, in your location, your interests, or even your love life, I don't know. There's one thing that is very sure that will never change, and it's the love of God for you. I hope that this would inspire you. You are beautiful. You are unique. You are one of a kind. You are talented. You are loved. You have a purpose. You have a value. You have a talent. Great job.